Hey, what is going on, guys, gals, aliens, and DGen freaks? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, this weekend and this past week has been absolutely insanity. I mean, we came into Nashville as coiners, DGens, Bitcoin enthusiasts. So amazing that Nashville was very, very gracious and very inviting to the crypto community. And we saw that we had a lot of bullish sentiment and support for the cryptocurrency markets and a lot of promises made by politicians that they will be buying Bitcoin and adding it to the U.S. Treasury and our balance sheets. So, but we wanted to bring you a little bit of a conversation that was on our live stream. And this conversation was with Da Vinci and a good friend of ours that we met named Daniel. And I went into micro strategy and we, we wanted to uh, get a little bit more info about why Michael Saylor did what he did and exactly how he did it. So I'm going to play this little brief snippet of uh, Da Vinci explaining this in the Expo Hall at the Bitcoin Conference Nashville 2024. And without further ado, let's get right into it. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, and then we got Daniel. We have another fellow, Yo. Daniel. How are you? Yeah, we yeah. met this guy yesterday. He was uh, super, super gracious, super nice, and learned about his company which is a super dope company thanks and uh he's uh helping helping a lot of people and detoxing them from the from the world you know yeah that's, that's constantly poisoning us so yeah, yeah so he's, he's on a mission yeah we help people that uh combat the progression of technology and all the stuff that you know seems good it cures cancer yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't say, say that. Yeah, you're gonna get censored now. Damn it, we get censored, Da Vinci. Come on, Da Vinci. I just, I literally just, I, I mean, in one, in five, and literally in less than two minutes, I got Trump, and then you said that my channel's gonna get canceled now. Yeah, you're totally canceled now. Exactly. Damn it, Da Vinci. God. <laughs> yeah, well, all, all jokes aside, all jokes aside. Uh, th this guy's doing the doing the doing the real work, so it's really cool. Oh, thank it, you. I think it's very synchronistic that we kind of all ran into each other because yeah. it's uh, it ultimately is uh, knowledge is power. So yeah, it's uh, it's not really yeah. me necessarily in the sense I'm just the business side, but my dad is the pioneer of the work, and I uh, help scale it and bring it to the masses. So you might see us around. It's Dr. Pompa, um, but yeah, he's doing some awesome stuff. We have best knowledge out there on how to rid your body of all these toxins that we are just being inundated with a society it's yeah. epidemic yeah it definitely is so follow follow his work and also follow da vinci oh yeah da vinci, da vinci, da vinci. they, they yeah. already follow da vinci yeah and i'm sure they are you guys already follow da vinci i mean if you're not already subscribed to da vinci i don't know what you're doing That's right. but, exactly. and show them the shirt show them the shirt told you so i told, I told you, you so I told you so <laughs> <laughs> what's what's really interesting is that this guy before all probably most of these people just talking about Bitcoin way before everyone was. So was that 13 years ago? It's about yeah, yeah. exactly 13 years, years ago. ago. Wow. And Bitcoin was a dollar, right? When you bought Back it in March of 2011. Yeah. Was, the lowest price was like hundred sixty-seven cents. Or, oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Sixty-seven cents. No way. Yeah. And I and I asked Da Vinci. I said, "You still got some of those, don't you?" It's like these. <laughs> you bought them for seven, right? 67 dollars 67 cents and what was your first like what was your first purchase like how much did you like dca into like you, you put a thousand bucks 25 bucks just it's a, te just a test now <laughs> yeah but, but then if you were to do the math 25 bucks in the 67 like come on 40 bitcoins jeez that just 40, shows 70, you 280,000 no 2.8 million Something like that. I don't know. Do we know math? He probably he, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's about right. It just shows you the 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 longevity and the long term strategy you have to have with investment and investing in general. You can't have a short term mindset when it comes to investing because it's so I was it's not gonna work. I was buying Bitcoin. I was in the end of high school, eighteen, and I was like totally sold out. Like this is it. Like this is incredible. This is amazing technology. But then because I was too obsessive over it. And I rode the waves too much and I wasn't a mature investor by any stretch. I'm still not. But, um, you know, I ended up falling to being like, it should have caught on by now and not sticking to the fundamentals. That was buying a good amount of Bitcoin. So it was 300 bucks a coin. And uh, now I've made no money from Bitcoin because I missed it. So 
Stick to the fundamentals. It's not too late. It's still cheap. If you believe that it's going to be around in the next 10 years, right? then that's beating your 401k. That's where I'm at with it now. That's the problem. If you say if, that's how you fail. There is no if. It will be the money. 100%. Did you hear that? There is no if. You know, actually, it I, is I, just I, a matter of time. I have a good takeaway for your people. Like, I was saying that I haven't been able to have a lot of intellectual co conversation on blockchain, the future of blockchain and currency themselves, and what's going to last. And after being able to hedge and ask some of my questions to people who know tons about it, some of the most educated in the world on the matter, my questions that I had from a business perspective were completely satisfied in the fact that, like, even though I missed it the first time, it doesn't mean you shouldn't be just as, if not more bullish on it now, because it's actually past that tipping point of kind of like that point of like almost what's going to become singularity. Yeah, I was just about and to say that singularity, yeah. So, I don't know, I think that for what it's worth, me just having conversations with a lot of these guys here and asking my more business related questions and where we're going overall was uh, very assuring that I need to be just as bullish on it now as I was whenever I was 18. There you go. I like it. Course. Yeah. I like that explanation. You just have to be more bullish once you've learned your lesson. <laughs> yeah. Once so, you've I mean, learned your lesson. A lot of people probably learned a similar lesson than I did. <laughs> yeah. yeah Mike, like, even Michael Seller learned that lesson. Did he? He hated it. Or yeah. didn't want to touch it. Right? It was only after 2020 when his company yeah. was being shorted to the ground but, yeah. that he realized, well, what the fuck? Why are you shorting my company? We have we make seven to six million dollars a year in uh, in profit. Yeah. What? They said because it's that's cash your cash flow, and your cash flow can't grow beyond maybe two or three percent per year, and so they're printing twenty five percent a year. So that cash flow is discounted at twenty five percent a year by uh, by a third. Wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, what? <laughs> Hold up. Oh, so he's like, so basically it's things like, based on my growth projections, yeah, exactly. my model to actually go into the ground exactly. and all my profits be eaten by inflation. Exactly. And that's what's happening to the every so he was person's like, savings account. Hells no. And he went looking for a solution. Yeah. Found that gold was not quite the solution. The Bitcoin was, even though he hated it before. Yeah. Inflation is like that yeah. kick the can down the road, temporary relief, cheap way of doing, of continuing the tea party that's inevitably going to end. So he was able to mortgage his his, um, his uh, future revenues to buy cheaper Bitcoin. Right? So because the money is guaranteed pretty much for his corporation and they gave him 0% interest rates. Yeah. So it was a no brainer. Now he's like super leveraged. Yep. Right on that position. But the yeah. Is is mostly uh, none of it is against the Bitcoin itself. It's against his company. Right. So, so for example, well, oh right, wow, if they, he can't pay, he's not giving them the Bitcoin. <laughs> That's the way they want it. That's the way they want it, it's, right? Yeah. It's the company that they have to go after. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they don't. Very the Bitcoin's too volatile. They look at that as a less sure. Stupid. Yeah, unless <laughs> your investment than the Bitcoin, it's, uh, than, uh, than the company itself, but really it's the contrary. Mm -hmm. The Bitcoin, long term, is better value than the uh, than the company. Yep. August twentieth, when you look at the chart and you analyze the chart on MicroStrategy, the moment that they implemented that, they did it at the perfect timing of the happen. And once they did that, their stock went up eight hundred and fifty percent. In a matter of what it was like three months or something like three four exactly. months exactly. almost like a like like b and b type 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 movies <laughs> wow. so i mean it's just it's crazy thank you very much. Yeah, that's, that's cool good. yeah so if you if you watch what these companies are doing watch what the big money's doing they're already they're they're front running what is the future of the next 10 15 20 years it's the and i i 100 believe that the reason why the markets are moving the way they are now is because that big money is moving the market it's not retail it's not you know it's not the shrimps all right let's go for a walk so, yeah. sounds good so, thank you okay. guys daniel yeah see you soon Very yeah nice. see you guys right, hey man. guys on there good talk good. yeah good talking yeah Please. thanks cool. for tuning in yeah. all right i think we're gonna end the live we've been doing it for about 32 minutes now so i think we got a nice little little section Little, little, uh, little real. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's say some. Let's say some.
All right. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you guys. And we will...